Okay. First thing we want to look at is, um, according to the definition of our platonic solids, they are made up of regular polygons which come together. The vertices are identical and the angles between the dihedral angles where the two faces come to an edge are the same. So you'll notice here is the same angle as there, as there. Likewise, if we go to a cube, which is okay, 90, 90, 90, which is most of you already knew, the octahedron, if we take this dihedral angle, it's the same as that one, same as that one. So all of them are identical. That's important for us to know. Now, which of them will tessellate a plane? Well, uh, the one that's most familiar to you are the cubes or the um, hexahedrons. And you've seen enough boxes in garages to know that if we take this, um, put this axis here, this uh, pipe cleaner along one of our edges, that uh, to see that, you can see that it will fill uh, space if we continue to build this. Pretty obvious. What about the tetrahedron? The tetrahedron is if we start to put these together, um, we want to uh, see if around this one edge where we've laid our pipe cleaner, if we can get, let's see, there's four. Uh, four, you'll recall from our table that the dihedral angle measure of a tetrahedron is 70.53, and four of those together make 282.12. If I add a fifth one, that gives us a total of 352.65 degrees. You'll notice that it's there's a bit of a gap in there. The gap is the difference between the 360 around this center axis and our 352.65, so this gap here is 7.35 degrees in there. So will this tessellate a uh, space? No. And if we tried to do it on these other out here, the same thing would happen because the, ang the dihedral angles are all the same and there will be end up being a gap. Okay, what about the octahedron? The octahedron, <coughs> If we put it together around an edge, this edge, that, uh, <clears throat> then you'll notice that we've got a gap here. Well, the gap is still too big to fit another one in. How big are the octahedron? Well, our table tells us they're 109.47. So three of them together around a given um, edge would be three times 109, three times 109.47, uh, which is going to be a little over 327, but the gap in here between that and 360 is not enough, so the octahedrons won't. Now, looking at these other dodecahedron and icosahedron, their dihedral angles, it's pretty obvious that they won't because these angles are not factors of 360 around that edge, that axis. And just like our polyhedron, regular polyhedron, we found some that would and some that wouldn't, it has very much to do with are they factors of, one, of 360.